Hello friends, welcome to this practical course on Stripe Pro software. In the previous lectures, we have added all the primary loads, that is earthquake loads in all the four directions. Then we added dead load, live loads, and we also added wind loads in all the four directions. In this lecture, we will add load combinations to our structure. So let me first show you the load combinations that are recommended by IS456-2000 code. First of all, coming to the unfactored load combinations. The first, lo first load combination will be dead load plus live load. Then we will have dead load plus earthquake load in positive x direction. Dead load plus earthquake load in negative x direction. Similarly, dead plus earthquake in positive z and earthquake in negative z direction. The next load combination will be dead load plus wind load in positive x direction. Similarly, dead load plus wind load in negative x direction. Dead load plus wind load in positive z and in negative z direction as well. The next load combination will be dead load plus live load plus wind load in positive x direction. Similarly, we will have dead and live loads with wind loads in negative x, wind load in positive z and wind load in negative z direction. The next load combination will be dead load plus live load plus earthquake load in positive x direction. Similarly, we will have dead load plus live load plus earthquake load in negative x, earthquake in positive z and earthquake in negative z direction. So these are the 17 unfactored load combinations that we, will, that we will add on to our structure. You might be thinking that we are designing our structure based on the limit state method and in limit state method we always use the factored load combinations. Then why we are adding these unfactored load combinations? These unfactored load combinations are added because these load combinations will be used for calculating the size of the footing. Whenever we are calculating the size of the footing, in that whatever the SBC that is provided by the geotechnical engineer, then the value of that SBC is already calculated by considering a high factor of safety of 3 to 5. So since already a factor of safety has been included in calculating the SBC of soil, hence we will calculate the size of the footing always based on the unfactored load combinations. Now coming to the factor load combinations or the design load combinations. The first load combination will be 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 live load. Then we will have 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 earthquake load in positive x direction. Similarly, 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 earthquake load in negative x. Similarly, earthquake in positive z, earthquake in negative z. Then we will have 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 wind load in positive x direction. Similarly, wind load in negative x, wind load in positive z and wind load in negative z direction. The next load combination will be 1.2 dead load plus 1.2 live load plus 1.2 wind load in positive x direction. Similarly, we will have wind load in negative x, wind in positive z and wind in negative z direction. The next load combination will be 1.2 dead load plus 1.2 live load plus 1.2 earthquake load in positive x direction. Similarly, earthquake in negative x, earthquake in positive z and earthquake in negative z direction. Here you can see that whenever we are using the gravity loads and one of the lateral load, the code has reduced the factor from 1.5 to 1.2. This is because the probability of occurrence of all the three at a time will be very much a rare combination. Hence, the code recommends to reduce the factor from 1.5 to 1.2, which is seen over here. Now coming to the next load combination, it will be 0.9 dead load plus 1.5 earthquake load in positive x direction. Then we have 0.9 dead load plus 1.5 earthquake load in negative x, earthquake in positive z and earthquake in negative z direction as well. So these are the 21 factor load combinations that we will use onto our structure. As you can see that I have given the numbering of these factor load combinations starting from 201 and ending to 221. You can give any number of your own choice. I will give a number in such a way that you can differentiate between the unfactored load combinations and the factored load combinations. So here I have given the numbering of the unfactored load combinations starting from 101 and ending to 117 and for factored load combinations I have started from 201. So let's add all these load combinations in Pro. So in order to add all the load combinations, first of all click on loading. and then click on combination load case button. 
the first load combination that we will add is dead load plus live load so give the load number as 101 now double click on dead load and double click on live load the factor for both will be 1 and click on the add button so here you can see on the right hand side that load combination 101 which is dead load plus live load has been added over here similarly let me show you one more example so give the load number as 201 now double click on dead load and double click on live load the factor will be 1.5 and click on add so here you can see that the load combination 201 which consists of 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 live load so now adding 70 non-factor load combinations and 21 factor load combinations one by one is really time consuming so we will take the help of stat editor in order to add the load combinations in no time so first of all open stat editor click on utilities and click on the command file option Now scroll down as you can see that the load two load combinations that we have added here are written in the form of a program or code by stat pro so first of all select these two load combinations and delete that and save the stat file press ctrl s from the keyboard and close the stat file now i will share with you a word file which consists of all the 70 non-factor load combinations and 21 factor load combinations so open the word file from the description below and press ctrl a from the keyboard in order to select all this text now press ctrl c in order to copy this now open stat and open the command file now Below this wind load, you need to paste all this. So press Ctrl V from the keyboard. So now all the load combinations have been pasted over here. Now press Ctrl S from the keyboard in order to save the file and close the command file. Now click on load case details. Now you can see that 70 non factor load combinations starting from 101 to 117 and 21 load 21 factor load combination starting from 201 to 221 has been added over here so this is how we will add the load combinations with the help of stat editor so guys that's all for this video you can like share and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future update for this practical course see you in the next video